This is just the Tollens test for reducing sugars on a large scale. But the resulting silvered flask is most impressive. The quantities here that we're going to use are appropriate for a one or two litre, or one or two cubic decimeter flask, but they can be scaled up or down as appropriate. The most important thing to remember about this experiment is the flask must be scrupulously clean if we are to get a good silver mirror. The best procedure is to clean it with detergent and a brush, rinse it out with water, followed by concentrated nitric acid, and then several rinses with distilled or deionized water. We start with 150 cubic centimeters of 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter silver nitrate solution. We add to this a drop at a time some 880 ammonia. We get a brown precipitate first, which on adding more ammonia will eventually re-dissolve to give a clear solution. It'll take about five cubic centimeters of 880 ammonia. We now take 75 cubic centimeters of 0.8 moles per cubic decimeter potassium hydroxide. Again, we get a brown precipitate of silver oxide and we add more 880 ammonia to, to this a drop at a time. Again, until the precipitate re-dissolves to give a clear solution. This solution is ammoniacal silver nitrate. It contains silver plus ions complexed with ammonia molecules. We now put the ammoniacal silver nitrate into the flask we're going to silver. And add to it 12 cubic centimeters of 0.25 moles per cubic decimeter glucose solution. Glucose is a reducing sugar and will reduce the silver ions to metallic silver. The solution will start to go brown or gray, and at this point, it's important to keep moving the solution around the flask so that the whole of the inside of the flask is constantly being wetted. Over a period of a couple of minutes, a silver mirror will begin to form on the inside of the flask. The stress, it's vital to keep the solution moving around so that the whole of the inside of the flask is exposed to the silvering solution. The chemistry of this process was actually used in the past to form the silver coating on mirrors, looking glasses. A giant Christmas tree decoration. When you finish this demonstration, it's important to dispose of the spent ammoniacal silver nitrate solution as quickly as possible. You should do this by pouring it down the sink and flushing it with plenty of water. Ammoniacal silver solutions have been known to explode if they're left standing for some considerable time, for example, overnight. Therefore, it's vital not to put the residues in a silver residue container. For the same reason, it's not appropriate to make up the ammoniacal silver nitrate solution any considerable time before the demonstration, and certainly not the previous day, for example.